Hey, what's up, Trinity Session friends? This is Pastor Chris coming to you from the uh, secret remote headquarters of Christ Church of Flagstaff, also known as my deck. Have you ever done something just so you could post it on your social media? Has you ever done something good or like out of the ordinary for you just so you could get the attention of posting it online? Oh, none of us would do that, right? Like we're like, we're not like that. I did that like two weeks ago. I got invited to this community prayer event and I was told a bunch of like influential leaders in our city and our state would be there. And I thought, man, if I go to this some people will see me, I could post it on my Boomer Facebook account and I'll get some likes and some follows and maybe like that senator or the mayor, or some other cool people would uh, notice me and recognize me and, and, uh, and I went. I went to this prayer event it's a, a, up at our hospital. I'm actually going to go again tonight in like an hour for a totally different reason. And I just went to get the attention. And, and I posted it on Facebook because I'm a, that's what I do, you know. And and I'm kind of embarrassed to tell you that. So can we just keep that between us? Do we? You don't have to tell like your parents or anybody like anybody else, right? You don't need to tell anyone. I, I admitted that. But have you ever done anything like that? I wonder, I love this idea of Trinity Sessions. I'm so happy you're doing this. I'm so proud of all of you. All you guys, all you gals who are getting together in groups or you're watching these these sessions and you're you're digging in. You're like, you're doing some cool stuff and reading, and meditating, and maybe you tried something like fasting or being generous. You're trying some new stuff in your life. And I think it's awesome. And as the pastor of a church, I mean, I couldn't be more proud of you as a dad of some teenagers and young adults that live with our family and my kids. I mean, I just think it's an awesome, awesome thing that you're doing. But we got to stop and think about why do we do things? And, and this word today, secrecy, are we doing things, the right things, the good things to just get attention? Or are we doing them to connect with God, the one who created us? Jesus explained it so well. I mean, just straight to the point, as he usually does. In Matthew chapter 6, he says, Be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others to be seen by them. If you do. So righteousness, that's like the things you do that are good. Trinity sessions, prayer, meditation, reading the Bible. He says, Be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others on Instagram or Snapchat or whatever you're on. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. So he gives this example. He says, when you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets. Well, you don't do that. You don't announce it with trumpets. So when you read that, you go, well, I don't do that. But that's the modern day, the modern day equivalent of making an announcement with trumpets is Instagram. It's posting it. He says, that's what hypocrites do in the synagogues, on the streets, to be honored by others. He says, I tell you, they've received the reward in full. But when you give to the needy, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing so that your giving, your charity may be in secret, secrecy. Then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. He goes on, Jesus gives us another example. He keeps going, verse five, when you pray, that's something you guys have been doing. Don't be like the hypocrites. I mean, you don't want to be a hypocrite. I don't want to be a hypocrite. He says, they love to pray standing in the churches and the synagogues and the street corners to be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received the reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your father who is unseen. Then your father, same phrase as before, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. This is what I wrote in the side of my Bible. I sometimes write little things that, that come to my mind. And many years ago, I was reading this passage and and I said, don't do spiritual disciplines to be impressive. Do them to connect with God. I mean, that's the goal, right? That's the goal of prayer. That's the goal of reading God's word, meditation, fasting. Why? Why do you do that? Why is it to connect with him? Or is it to impress someone, to get someone's attention? And, and, and what's hard is right now we live in this era and I see it all the time. I'm, I, I go through TikTok and I'm, I'm scrolling through stuff and I, mean, I see a lot of Christian young people saying a lot of like really spiritually impressive things. And it really feels like they're just wanting the attention. 
And you see that too, right? You see leaders and, and Christian influencers and, and people your own age who just spend a lot of time telling us impressive things, like things they've learned. I wonder if we just focused on how we do things in secret to connect with God. And then what we share, what if what we shared came from this heart of not being an attention whore and needing all that put on us and that limelight. But what if you and I were to just humbly share what God's teaching us in those secret times just to help someone else follow Jesus? And that's why our churches exist. Our church exists, and I hope every church exists, is to help people like you and I follow Jesus. We help each other. And so, yeah, sometimes I got to talk about my prayer life or my devotional life or my spiritual disciplines to help someone. But I do them to connect with God, not to be impressive. What if you did the same thing? What if you did them in secret for a while? What if you helped people service and never told anyone you helped someone else? I mean, have you ever gone out of your way to like sit by the kid nobody will sit by back when you could go to school and have lunch in a building, right? Remember those days? Did you ever sit by the kid nobody else would sit by? And then you told a bunch of people about it. You told your youth pastor, you told your mom and dad, so they'd think you're awesome. What if we started doing things again and just secretly served others? That, that friend who you know is struggling right now, that, that person in your life, you could just serve that time you could spend with God. What if you did like more prayer, more fasting, more meditation, and it was a secret? What do you think I could use that for? What if we could turn the attention towards how we best serve and connect with him and not how we tell everyone about it? I think God would use that. He has in my life, and I know he would have uh, just incredible things for you in your life. It says he would reward you. And that reward is almost always a better connection with him. So glad you're watching this. I'm so honored by Wes and Garrett and Jen uh, to be able to, to share with you in this session. And uh, actually, I'm going to do it again here very soon. And I'm just so, again, proud of the student ministries in all the different age groups at our church. And if you're great, you know, really connected to our church and that's a normal thing for you, keep it up. If it's new and this is kind of your first time finding CCOF, man, we're so happy that you have. And, and I'm so proud of all of you and what you're doing in this season, all the good. And of course, it's not perfect and neither is it for me at our house. It's not at your house, but keep leaning in to Trinity sessions and spiritual disciplines and doing them in secret. God will reward you. He promises he will. That's what Jesus told us. And Jesus is always truthful. Amen.